What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the autumn season of series number 14. Today we're driving around in our 1992 Honda NSXR that we unlocked in the last video by completing the Hilo Seasonal Street Racing Championship. But today we're going to finish out the seasonal championships for the autumn season by competing in the pop-up headlights road racing championship so let's go ahead and take a look here um you can see our reward here is the dodge durango and our car restriction is b 700 and we've got to use a car that has pop-up headlights so this nsx could actually be used um, in b class if you wanted to but I've got three other cars set up and ready to go. And I'll see you guys as we jump in, start this championship, take a look at the three races we've got. All right, so we've got at least one circuit, two circuits, three circuits. Okay, I guess that's fine. All right, here we go with the three jewel cathedral circuit. And in our first car, this is the 1989 Porsche 944 Turbo. And up on the screen now, you're going to see our new, what I'm going to call a tune sheet. Um, and it just gives you the share code for the tune, the name of the tune, name of the tuner, along with the event details. So, um, I'm trying out this new little format, so let me know what you guys think. Um, it'll also be posted onto the Discord server, as well as my Bomb Gaming Instagram. So, um, definitely go um, join those if you aren't already a member of the Discord server or following me on Instagram. Um, but this thing handles rewind. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, this thing handles pretty well. Um, outside of, you know, me not knowing how to drive, it's super great. Um, so we're already up in the first, which is good to see. Um, this tune feels pretty good. Um, B class is a really fun little section of racing to do it's not super fast but it's fast enough to where um, you've kind of got to use brakes enough so um, we're looking good in the neighborhood um, if I look back I won't if I continue to look back I'll continue to crash but um, we've got a pretty commanding lead over the other Dravatars so that's good to see um, let me know what you guys think of the music in the background as well. I'm trying to improve some of the video quality. Um, so that's where the tune sheet's coming from, as well as, you know, the videos is, or the music in the background as well. So let me know what you guys think of that below. Um, but right now, since we're so far ahead, I'm not going to sit here and make this video longer than it has to be since there are three circuit races. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of this race, unless anything funny or interesting happens. I'll see you guys here in just a second. Alright, got the final turn here, and just the straightaway back to the finish line. We absolutely annihilated the driving tires on this race, so that's good to see. That was a very good tune definitely highly recommended so um, with that we're gonna go ahead and jump into our second race actually we'll look at the leaderboard here so as you can see we got 20 points for coming in first um, this is a seasonal championship so it doesn't matter where you finish in the actual races you just have to have enough points at the end of the three races to uh, be on the championship leaderboard in first so if I hit continue this is that championship leaderboard, so we'll take a better look at that after our second race, because um, we'll have more points on there, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into our next race and into our next car. Alright, here we go with the Bolo Ocho circuit, and jumping into the 1997 Mazda RX-7 here, um, and that new tune sheet for the co or for the tune will be up on the screen now. Um, let's see what this thing can do. This is definitely the coolest looking car we're going to use today. And um, I don't know if it matters or not, but it's got a body kit on it. And it doesn't actually have pop up headlights on it uh, with this body kit. So I don't know if that's kind of breaking the rules. Oops, I need to pay attention. Uh, 
Um, but obviously, you know, by default, the RX-7 does have the pop-up headlights on it. Listen to that rotary, man. All right, let's get past the mirror. There we go. All right, up in the first. Um, this thing worked out pretty well, too. Obviously, the track's a little wet. Um, so, you know, it naturally wants to slide, and that's kind of fine because it's a lot more fun to slide around some of these turns. That is one lap down, again, just to keep this from being, uh, you know, a longer video than it absolutely needs to be. I think I will go ahead and skip towards the end of this last lap, and I'll see you guys here in just a second. one more turn to go um, so the drive guitars are closer on this one just because I was more or less just pulling any brake drifts around uh, uh, the majority of that last lap so um, that thing worked out really well it was a lot more fun to drive than the uh, the Porsche was the Porsche was very stable but this was a lot more fun to drive so um, as you can see we got 20 more points there um, if I hit continue you can see we're at 40 in total on the championship going into the last race so we're going to go ahead and jump into that and into our last car. All right, here we go with the Estado circuit. And to finish off our Pop-Up Headlights Road Championship. And we're jumping into the 1995 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Again, the share code will be up on the tune sheet on the screen. And we'll see what this thing can do. All right, I feel already feel some understeer here a lot of understeer here um, it is an all-wheel drive converted uh, Corvette obviously so um, you're gonna feel some of that unnatural feeling when you're driving this thing um, but we're just moving right on up the pack again the NSX would have been a pretty good option if I would have thought about it um, but just like that we're up into first You're not going to give that up. So this thing actually isn't that bad, once you get used to it. Um, something to note, I guess, um, and it may be a little late in the video, is I'm using three different vehicles on these races. Um, you do not have to do that. You can use one race, or one vehicle for all three races. Um, I do that just to show you guys different options that can be used, because um, not everybody may have, I mean, we'll use the Corvette as an example. Not everybody may have this. Um, but they may have the Porsche, or they may have that RX-7, so um, they would be able to use that, of course. So, um, it just provides some extra content for you guys, um, and show, again, different options that can be used. And the nice thing about using one car for all three races is you'll kind of get a handle of how that car um, drives. So, you'll be able to, you know, be a little more competitive with it in all three of the races, rather than you know, just using one car for each race, like I am, so, um, but we're up into first, and we've got about a lap and a half left to go, we're getting some distance on these drive guitars that are here, this thing definitely has the speed, um, to get out the first, just not as great on handling, I think the RX-7, um, was probably my favorite, the Porsche was really good, I don't think there's any bad option here, um, but yeah, definitely, um, you know, use what what you have. This championship's really not worth, you know, going out and buying a new car for. Um, so, if you've got something with pop-up headlights, more than likely with the right tune, it's going to work out just fine for you. So, um, we've got about a lap left. So, again, keep this video from being super duper long. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the end of this race, and I'll see you about right here in just another lap's time. the line we go. And just like that, you can see we got 20 more points for our championship leaderboard. That's going to give us a clean sweep of 60 total points in the championship, which gets us first place. And 
mocks that dodge of Durango for us. All right, but there we go. That is the pop-up headlights seasonal championship here in the autumn season of series number 14. I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. Um, in the next one, we're going to be jumping into the seasonal PR stunts and the photo challenge. And then we'll finish out the season with the weekly Forzathon challenge in the video after that. So I hope you guys do have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the next video.